What's going on, family? This is Manuel Godoy from Black Sands. I'm here with Stephen from Everborn Saga. He has a new project up called The Redlands. It's the, what, sixth issue of Everborn yep. in general? Yep. Right? So, um, you know, we're proud to have him. He's a creator on the BSP Comics app. He's been working with me for a couple of years now. Uh, and, you know, it's just an amazing thing to be working with him now. That's why I'm highlighting his experiences, right? That's what we're doing right now. So um, first thing first, I would like to let him introduce himself and then we can go from there. Yeah, man. Um, I've been doing this Everborn thing for, for a little while. Uh, I, I remember distinctly meeting uh, Manuel back in 2017 when he had the Black Sands booth and I was showing him all my crazy notes in my book. And uh, he was like, he didn't want to hear it. Put something out. <laughs> I had too many notes. And, um, you know, four years later, now we're six issues into this or six chapters into this whole epic fantasy we're trying to tell. So this whole Redlands thing is this third series in the uh, Everborn saga. So it's sort of like um, I'm trying to build like a, a manga version of the of the MCU. So everybody's story is sort of happening at the same time and they sort of cross collide. There's going to be four total series. This makes this makes the third one. And when we have that fourth, which is the, the remnant coming out later, that'll be the foundation for the whole story we're going to tell going forward. OK, so four different series. Constantly in continuation. Sounds pretty cool. So uh, tell us about the Redlands. What is the Redlands about? What is different about the Redlands from what we already know about Everborn? Okay, so uh, when we first came on Everborn, and everybody that's on the BSP app uh, knows Prince of Arcadia, right? That takes place Arcadia, which is on the east coast of this uh, Theros continent, right? That's what we call our, our, our world there. So on the west coast, you have sort of uh, what we call the Redlands. That's that's the whole west coast of the continent, and it, it is um, it's kind of like a, a kind of a desert land. But I, I try it for, in this world. It is kind of like uh, our our Africa, right? So everybody there is uh, is is black. Um, but something that's going to happen later on, and I'm this is a little bit spoilers, but don't worry about it because it happens early on in the Ariel's Adventure series we see uh, an old man, Baldemar from Prince of Arcadia. He gets taken by the Everborn because we named the whole Everborn series after the big bad. That's like, if you call the MCU Thanos. So, and the last thing he says to Ariel is find the Cassandra. And in our world, the Cassandra is like uh, an Oracle. And so uh, Karma, AKA Isis Amun is that Cassandra. So that's how it will link up with everything else later. But she has her own things going on. So Karma is a princess by day and a bandit by night. So the king that is currently sitting on the throne killed her parents to so that he could take the throne, but he raised her like his own daughter. So she um, is moonlighting uh, and she has a crew of bandits that she wrote that she rolls with at night and she targets uh, allies of the king so that she can weaken him to his allies so that she can strike back at him uh, when he is vulnerable. So the only problem is her uh, crew, uh, her, her crew of bandits, they hate the royals and they don't know that she is one of them. So she's living this double life. She's lying to her friends and, and she's lying to the king because she can't tell the king that she is uh, robbing his friends. And um, her friends, she can't tell them because That's way too much story, man. Oh, too, too much story. story. Too much too story. Much okay, story, man. You're basically telling them the entire freaking plot of this. You you almost gave away the whole series, man. What is going on, man? <laughs> you know how I feel about summaries, man. You got to give them two lines, man. What the two heck? lines? Okay, okay. I'm working you on told that. The whole story. Now I know the whole thing. I don't even got to read it anymore. <laughs> Princess by day, bandit by night. That's all you need to know. <laughs> all right, cool. So um, let's go and check in on the campaign that you're actually doing right now. Uh, yes. So uh, this campaign started like two weeks ago, right? Yep. And uh, so far you've been doing pretty well, man. You're at about $5,400, you know, with 79 backers. That's pretty damn good. Second Kickstarter campaign for you. Uh, you know, I think that's pretty exceptional. I'm, I'm pretty sure this campaign will probably close out at 10K when it's all said and done. 
I, I learned it from watching you, man. <laughs> hey, that's the, that's the blueprint, man. But, uh, you know, all the people here who are currently here, um, I want you to know that you can always support this man on Kickstarter. It's always nice to do so. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, without uh, independent funds, we don't necessarily have the ability to create product like this. Different, unique product that everyone can enjoy, right? It's, it's so it's, you know, we end up having to do the cookie cutter stuff that the industry wants us to do because we don't have enough support in the background. So definitely if you, if you vibe with this kind of storyline, if you like that grant, that um, grand uh, war story, this is the, this is the um, kind of thing for you. Uh, I don't have the link to the Kickstarter, but if you just simply go to um, Kickstarter and type in Everborn, you'll find it right uh it's it's a pretty easy thing to do these projects we love uh now I, we're going to be taking some questions from the crowd uh we're not going to go too much into like a deep discussion right now so we're just going to talk about what you guys want to know about what's going on right and we'll answer your questions uh as they come in in the comments section uh the only reason why i'm not going too into much of a deep dive is because uh steven has been here plenty of times before probably about four times right yeah. so so most people know who he is now. We just need to know what's going on with the um, future, right? What's the next plan? What's the next steps? Uh, so I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna give them a chance to go and start some questions, but I'm gonna start with one for you. Uh, so when are you going to have? Um, when are you going to? Uh, what's the word for it? When is that game gonna be launched? Well, it's funny you should ask that. See. I've been able to put together a strong team for the books that we do. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we, we, we basically have four books in production at any given time. Right. Yeah. Um, but I, I have been trying for the last two years to get a similar team together of people that I can trust that are reliable, that are of the same vision as me. And that is starting to happen now. Right. So mm -hmm. I have been able to successfully put together about a team of four people. I'm just looking for one more uh, coder like myself. And then we are off to the races. So I don't know if you're familiar with the game um, Shantae Half Genie Hero that came out on the Switch and Xbox and PlayStation a little while ago. But uh, we got one of the lead animators there to uh, sign on to work on this project. So. Uh, he is now working with two other artists that I put together. And these are artists that also work on the book. So we have some continuity in style. And they are going to, uh, he's acting as art director and lead animator for, for the projects, for the games that we're trying to put together. So um, with that, I am uh, doing 100% of the coding and I'm, I'm kind of looking for one more person to maybe a level designer. And that will be my team that I have going forward to not only complete the Ariel's Adventure game, uh, but also the other games that we have in the pipeline as well. So once I have that team together, it's like uh, to the moon. Got you, got you. Uh, let's see, here's a question for you. Is it possible for a crossover to happen? With any uh, of the creators on the BSP Comics app or any other black creators that you know of? Yeah, I mean, if you, if you read... Um, uh, Brandon Sanderson, he has this thing called the Cosmere Universe, and he'll have like Mistborn, or he'll have the Star Stormlight Archive. So there's definitely possible for these things to exist in their own world, but have a greater connection where you have crossover, sort of like a, a multiverse kind of thing. So anything's possible. I've, I've actually already talked with um, uh, Jeffrey from uh, the Enid series about, about doing something like that. So it's definitely a possibility. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, hey, mortal, mortal had joined the cause for you, so that's pretty good. I appreciate you, you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see what else. Um, so, uh, unless this is done, what is the next big production that you're planning on doing besides just simply making more comic books? Uh, we have a, a, a full novel that is already written right now, but I, I need an editor for it. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the stretch goals that I'm hoping we can hit. And that's at, at the 10,000 mark. So we'll get a professional uh, industry editor to come in and fix all my damn typos. 
uh, and then that novel's ready to go. And I'm hoping to have that out in in, in around March, if this uh, if we hit that if we hit that goal. Okay. Uh, let's see. Here's one for you. Um, who or what inspired you? I mean, there's a lot of uh, inspirations. I mean, um, I mean, <laughs> Black Sands was one of them. Uh, just seeing that he um, was sort of further down the path that I was already trying to go, and he's always been that uh, guy that never let me sort of um, rest on my laurels or or get too comfortable with the ideas that I had in my head that I wasn't ready to share with the world. Uh, but um, apart from that, a lot of my inspiration comes from the fantasy novels that I read. So, you know, it could be Wheel of Time. It could be um, it could be, like I said, Stormlight Archive or the first law trilogy. Um, and there's a lot of things like that that um, obviously, you know, everybody's read or watched Game of Thrones. There's some of that in there, too. But um, a, a lot of the characters in the Everborn universe are, are modeled after some of my favorite characters in the fantasy novels that I've read uh, mm -hmm. throughout the years. Well, that's pretty good. You know, uh, you know, I, I get my uh, motivations a lot, you know, from other titles as well. You know, Asar is based off of Guts, right, from Berserk, right? And, uh, and Yusuke, Yusuke Urameshi, right? It's a little combination between them, uh, you know, because one thing is like, uh, he has the, you know, Asar himself. He has uh, the strength, fortitude, and determination and recklessness of guts, right? Right. Uh, but he has the social cockiness, right, of, <laughs> of Yusuke, right? He said guts is a very antisocial dude. He don't want to talk to you. <laughs> he don't want to work in groups and nothing. Yusuke is like, everybody follow me, you losers. We got this, right? <laughs> he's, like, he's like, he's a little punk, man. He's a punk, right? And that's the kind of attitude I wanted Asar to have, most because it's like anti-thesis to everything that's hot nowadays. Nowadays, every single main character and every single anime uh, is some person who's a complete weirdo, right? Or soft or whatever, right? Oh, I don't want to be in charge. Yeah, everybody's crying all the time. Yeah, so, you know, we had to get make a character that was like, y'all better get in the back and wait for me to do everything because y'all are useless. Let's go, right? Just, just, go, just go hard, man. Be the winner. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, one person asked, have you tried to outsource the help you need to talent in emerging markets? Uh, I'm sure he has, right? But at the same uh, time, you don't want to work with brand new people. You know? Yeah, well, I'll tell you right now, like um, there's a sort of a global team that puts these books together. So I do all the writing and producing and funding and all of that other stuff. But um, the artists, like the cover art is is from a guy in, in Philly. Uh, that's End of Days on Mars. But the the artists for, for the, the books, like... Uh, they come from the Philippines. Uh, same thing with the colorist, and the letterer comes from London. So uh, it's it's really a global team that that helps me put put all this together. All right, cool. Uh, let's see here. So I'm not seeing any more new questions about it. So give me your last pitch, man. Give them the pitch. What is what? What's their call to action? How can they support you? Where can they follow you at? Yeah, so I'm I'm Everborn Saga everywhere. So if you're if you game, I'm on uh, PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam at Everborn Saga, and uh, on the socials, I'm on um, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and probably I'm most active on Twitter. And I try to follow everyone uh, who follows me. Uh, but most importantly, you want to check EverbornSaga.com because uh, that's where you can sort of buy a lot of these books that we that that we have so far and. I do a show every Thursday, which I'm I'm trying to get you on one of these days, man. Well, uh, <laughs> called uh, On the Rio, where we kind of talk about um, sort of comics and movies and TV shows, and we try to pick one uh, per week and sort of do a deep dive um, on that. Okay. But um, yeah, that's that's probably the best place to find me. But in terms of the campaign, I do. There's one tier that I want to tell everybody about, right? So we had the immortal tier, which there was only one of one, and that's gone. Um, that is where you would get your own uh, character and cover. 
and that would be a one of one cover from you and that would be done by the guy that does all our cover art yeah philip johnson but so that's gone but we do have nine slots left for the everborn tier and that is the one that uh allows you to have a your own character created who will have a walk-on role in a future chapter of the everborn saga so uh we we did we did that uh the last campaign and we we only had five slots and then all of those went away so i, I wanted to increase it this time uh to 10 and you know we did a whole page for them in the book when it released so we they got to see what their character would look like and mm -hmm. now it's just like when will their character show up so that's the one that uh, I, I think is really good. And that also includes everything. It includes, it includes the merch, like a t-shirt, like you see that I have here, it includes a poster. Um, it includes all of the books we've ever done if you're, if you're new to the Everborn Saga as well. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what to do. You know what to do, guys. There is merch involved as well. It's not just books, they got merch, right? So by all means, back their campaign, show your support. Subscribe to their chat, their book and freaking BSP comics. All right, go in there and read yes. it, baby. Read that bad boy. It's a dope story. Chapter right? four, Prince of Arcadia is coming to BSP soon too. Yeah, Prince of Arcadia, yeah. man. Hey, and make sure, um, uh, Stephen, make sure that you um, adjust the name of your of your book. Okay. The app. Just put in the beginning, Everborn. In all okay, I got, you. I got you. Prince of Arcadia, because he got like four different titles, so. Right, you got four different series, but they're yep. all Everborn, so you need to just put that that thing up there so they can look you up easily. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, all right. Well, that's it for now, everybody. Um, thank you guys so much for um, stopping by. Remember, support his Kickstarter campaign. Very important. And uh, if you haven't bought stock in our company yet, go ahead and buy it now because we're literally almost done. We got like 915000 so we got like 85,000 left and that's it, right? And remember on Friday, we got nine new books coming out on our store, physical copies. So you got a lot of books to go and buy, new stuff, brand new stuff. Oh, right? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta link up with you about trying to get some of the, uh, some of these books to you. Mm -hmm. Roger that. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll talk about that offline. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about when we get a chance. All right, guys. See you guys later. Uh, have a great weekend and eat a lot of turkey tomorrow. Yes, Best link is in the chat for the Kickstarter. Doctor's orders. <laughs>